to do one more video on what to do if you got a clock that requires a square hole for the minute hand, but you don't have a square hole for the minute hand. We took some brand new hands that had circles. I took a, a triangular file such as this and I sat here and I put this triangle file in the hole and then I just sat here and went back and forth testing it several times to get the hour hand so the hour hand goes on and then you have to come up with a square hole washer. The purpose behind a square hole washer is when you put the round hole minute hand on, it doesn't go past this um, arbor. So you put the square hole washer on, and then... You do the same thing with the file. This is the minute hand. Round hole, square arbor. Put it on. And then you put, you could put another nut uh, washer on if you want, but you don't have to. Here I put the, um, the nut on. Now I'm going to tighten it down. Tight enough so when I turn the hands, the hour hand moves. And whenever it trips the cuckoo, you loosen up this nut, you put the hand where you want to put it, and then you tighten up that nut. I do this all the time and then you put what I call a decorative nut on top I do this all the time as long as you as long as the, the arbor is fully threaded this works I do it all the time so it works you don't have to have a square whole minute hand. Now, I again, I do not recommend that you do this to an antique bone hand. The proper way to take and adjust the time is take the movement out and then the piece of wire that comes off the two... The piece of wire comes off the uh, the minute arbor, which is this piece of wire right here. There's two tabs on this minute arbor that trips this piece of wire. You have to adjust that piece of wire so the minute hand is straight up and down when it trips the cuckoo clock. That is the only way to adjust, to properly adjust a cuckoo clock. But if you don't have the original antique hands, why well, take the movement all the way back out to, to adjust this? Because if you adjust this and you break it, then you're going to have to fix something else. The easiest way is to do what I just said. Our hand, square washer, round whole minute hand, then a washer, or if you don't have an extra washer, the nut that goes on that square arbor, and then, and then the decorative nut. Turn the minute hand until it trips the clock, loosen up the nut, put the hand where you want it, and then tighten up that nut. I hope this helps. May God bless.